Hello, we're doing some potting today. Now I posted some pics a, a week or so ago of a shopping trip that my friend Nikki and I took, hello Nikki down there, to the local nursery to find some pots and plants for her new home. Now we're concentrating at the moment on this covered area, so obviously we chose plants that would tolerate shady conditions. Nikki wanted to shade this neighbouring hedge, so what we've chosen are three teddy bear magnolia trees. These are quite a compact tree, so they're perfect for this position. They've got these gorgeous green glossy leaves with a beautiful bronze underside and they have gorgeous white flowers from late spring until autumn, so they're perfect for this spot. They will grow less vigorously in the shade, which is perfect for this position. Over here we've got two sago palms. Now sago palms grow just as well in sun as in shade, but in shade they have bigger leaves. So these grow quite tall, but very slowly. So it's perfect for this position. I think probably in 50 years they'll be about this tall, and we don't need to worry about that right now. Over here now, we have two birds of paradise. Now these grow really well indoors as well as outdoors. They love to be in full sun, but again, they'll tolerate lightly shaded positions. Nikki doesn't particularly like the bird of paradise flower, which I think is divine, but it's perfect really in this condition because they won't perhaps flower as well in the shade. She loves the foliage, so that is perfect. And here we have two beautiful gardenias. This is a more open shaped gardenia called Amy Yoshiba. Now we have two existing gardenias behind us, so when these are planted just over here, this area will be absolutely gorgeous. It will smell divine with its white flowers. Perfect if they are in a sheltered position with at least four hours of sun each day. Here's a tip. Because these pots are so big, the nursery said to us, instead of buying an expensive premium potting mix that's gonna fill the entire pot, you can get the cheap $5 mix, like this one here, fill it to about a third of the way out of the pot, and then obviously fill the rest with premium potting mix. It saves a couple of dollars, which is great. It's a couple of days later now, the plants have settled in beautifully to their new home, and I think they look fantastic, and I hope that Nikki does too. I do, Lizzie, it is magnificent, the best. That is great Thank to you. hear. Does that mean then that I can come back and help you with the other two decks, or three? Most certainly, Thank and we've only got another two to do. <laughs> Fabulous, we will keep you updated on that, and we'll see you next time, bye.